Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith. This video is sponsored by LP because we wanted to show you that LP Tech Shield installed the correct way makes a big difference and if you install it the incorrect way with the OSB down, it doesn't do much at all. But if you install it with the shiny side in, you can get a 20 degree delta between an attic with LP Tech Shield installed the correct way, shiny side in, and LP Tech Shield installed the incorrect way, shiny side out. This is LP Tech Shield. It is a radiant barrier roof decking product that must be installed the correct way or it does absolutely no good or it doesn't do what you think it's going to do anyway. Let's talk a little bit about radiant barriers and how they work and then I'm going to tell you how I built these two dog houses with identical materials but in this one I installed LP Tech Shield in the wrong direction and in this doghouse I installed it in the right direction. So radiant barriers how do they work? Heat travels in three different ways radiation, convection, and conduction. So the Sun radiates its energy down here to Earth. It doesn't need nada to go through space. It doesn't need any other medium other than itself to radiate energy through space. It's not traveling through air, it's not traveling through water, it's not conducting through any material. Pure radiation, right? It's important to realize that heat can travel through radiation without any other materials to go through because that is imperative to the understanding of how a radiant barrier works. The next way it travels is conduction and that means its ability to travel through a material. As the material is excited on one end and is heated up on one end, how easy is it for the next molecules to be excited and the next molecules to be excited and for it to heat up through the material, conducting heat through the material. A good conductiv conductivity material is something like aluminum. Aluminum loves to move energy from one place to another through itself. And then the third way is convection, and this is just the movement of hot or cold media as the media itself moves. So think water and air are two common materials that we have here on Earth that run heat through a convective process, right? So in the Pacific Ocean, you have cold water up north and south and then warm water in the middle and those all swirl together moving heat around through convection. Radiation, that's just heat moving through space through x-rays and you have conduction, heat moving through a material as one molecule heats up the next molecule and then finally convection, media moving around and pulling heat along with it. So how does this work with all of that nerdy stuff out of the way? Heat comes from the sun through radiation into our atmosphere, hits your shingles. Your shingles then conduct that material through themselves into your roof deck below. If I have LP Tech Shield installed incorrectly, the asphalt shingles will conduct their heat into the aluminum no problem. No problem. Aluminum loves conduction. And then it's going to re-radiate. The wood on the backside is a pretty good emitter. It ha it's pretty good at re-radiating energy into your attic. So the heat is going to pass straight through and then re-radiate down to your attic floor, your insulation, heat that up, and then that comes down into your house. If you take this material and you flip it around in the way that it's supposed to be installed, shiny side in, the same thing happens Sun heats up the shingles, shingles conduct the energy into the OSB, the heat conducts through the OSB, hits the aluminum, it heats the aluminum up. Nobody is saying that the aluminum and the OSB aren't both at a raised temperature. What we're saying is that the aluminum does not want to re-radiate the heat into the attic. It doesn't want to push that heat or, or let that heat jump off of itself and transfer down to your attic floor and your insulation. So that heat has to turn around and find somewhere else 
to go. That's why it is imperative that you have the shiny side in. This is not a reflectivity heat transfer question. We're not trying to reflect the sun back up towards the sky because as soon as we put the asphalt shingles on top or any roofing material on top, we've completely negated the aluminum's ability to reflect. On the inside, it doesn't reflect the energy. It does not emit the energy very well. So to demonstrate this once and for all, I have built this doghouse out of all the same materials as this doghouse. We have asphalt shingles and then we have tar paper and then we have tech shield, but we've installed it with the shiny side up. We've installed it like this incorrectly. And I have a thermometer in there. Well, actually I've got a transmitter. It's a thermometer and it's transmitting its temperature over to this receiver in here, which has a thermometer built onto it. So in this receiver, I have two different temperatures. I have temperature number one, which is called on this outdoor temperature because I've got the outdoor receiver in here. So that top number is outdoor temperature. That is going to be the temperature of this attic in here. The indoor temperature is going to be the temperature of this attic in here. And on this attic, we have the exact same materials. We have asphalt shingles and then we have tar paper and then we have our, our tech shield with the OSB facing out and our shiny side in, keeping the heat from re-emitting into it. Other than that, these dog houses are built identically. And what I think I'm going to show you is that we are going to have somewhere around a 20 degree delta, 20 degree Fahrenheit delta between this attic and this attic. So come over here and I'll show you how this attic's built. We've got OSB, we've got our asphalt shingles, and we have our thermometer in there receiving the temperature and we have insulation insulating the doghouse. So that thermometer sensor is sending its signal over here. And when I open up this one, you're going to see the two temperatures, outdoor temperature and indoor temperature. You can see here, we have the LP tech shield installed the correct way, shiny side in. We have our outdoor temperature here is 139. So our temperature of that doghouse over there is 139. Incorrect way of installing is 139. Identical materials on here is 121. So we're at 18 degrees. Now, what does that mean for you, the builder, or you, the homeowner? It means a couple of things. One, as a builder, you're able to have the assurance that your calculations for AC sizing and for every all of your heat loads are going to be accurate or maybe a little bit on the conservative side. You know that your homeowners aren't going to be calling you saying, hey, my AC just can't keep up. And you'll also have the assurance to know that your homes are a high efficiency home. You're not having to run an air conditioner as big or as often as you do if you just did a traditional attic. By putting the simple product the correct way, you're able to get a 20 degree delta. And 20 degrees might not sound that much, but think about it. This was 130, where are we at on this? We're at 138, so let's just round up to 140. 140 degree in that one and 120 degrees in this one. And we're trying to hold our home at 70 degrees so let's say 70, 80, 90, 100, 120. We have 40 degrees delta between the, our indoor temperature and our attic temperature here. And on that one, we have a 60 degree delta. That means that I have to work another half again over what I'd have to do on this one to get that 70 degrees. 40 degrees, I've got to bring 40 degrees out of that. 50% of 40 is 20, 20 plus 40 is 60. That's how I'm getting the 50% more on that side, my equipment would have to work 50% again more to keep the interior of that building cool. So it's a big difference. It's not a small, well, you know, you can or you can't. If you're doing a traditional vented attic, and especially if you're using any type of an asphalt shingle or any type of material that absorbs the heat, you're crazy not to use a LP Tech Shield Radiant Barrier on your roof as long as you install it the correct way. If you install it the wrong way, shiny side out, you're crazy to be using it at all because it's wrong. It's clearly wrong. 
Install it the correct way and you'll see big differences. Install it the wrong way and you won't. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for letting me be on my soapbox. I hope this helped. Go check us out over at Instagram at Jordan Smith Fields at Smith House Co. Um, and go check out LP at LP under dash pros over there on Instagram. And we'll see you next time on Smith House.